Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having a happy Wednesday. Um, it is kind of a dreary day here in Vermont, but that's all right. We kind of, I think we kind of need the rain. But um, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, just this pattern that people kind of, you know, tend to get into and maybe clear up some confusion or, um, you know, what people might have, some questions that might, people might have about, you know, like how often should I work out? How often should I go to the gym? Um, you know, what, what I should be doing there and that kind of stuff. Um, I'll get into like my thoughts on cardio versus, you know, resistance training and that kind of thing in a different video. But today I just want to talk about like how often should I get to the gym, right? Um, a lot of people, they find themselves in this, um, in this pattern of, I'm going to get into shape. I'm going to go to the gym every day. I'm going to eat really well. And, um, I'm just going to, you know, knock it out. And maybe they do, maybe they do for a few months. Um, and they lose some weight and they're feeling good. And then, they, you know, things crop up and they're like, I, I can't get to the gym today and I can't get to the gym tomorrow. And, um, you know, or they get kind of worn out or worst case scenario, they hurt themselves, um, going to, you know, going straight from their couch, having been on their couch for quite a while and then going to the gym and like busting their butt. Um, that's not really, you know, and then they like, they fall off the wagon and then they don't go for however long. And then, you know, they find themselves getting back into that rut of eating crappy and not, not exercising and blah, blah, blah. So it's not really about like being really active some of the time. It's about being a little bit active most of the time. And you don't really need, you don't need to go to the gym like six days a week if you're otherwise a little bit active. So um, what I'm saying is try to get up and go for walks periodically throughout the day. Um, you know, if you can get out and garden, if you have, you know, if you have a pet, you know, having a dog is actually like they say is really good for um, people with dogs are more active because they have to take the dog for a walk, right? Um, and plus you get a great companion out of the deal. Um, <laughs> so it's, like I said, it's about being a little bit active all of the time. And then if you can get to the gym like two, three days a week and do some, you know, full body resistance training, you know, that is enough to help keep, you know, the weight off or, you know, weight, help you be healthier. And it's more sustainable that way as well, because you don't get into this, you know, you don't, your risk of injury goes way down by doing, you know, lighter exercise all the time. And I'll tell you, um, going to the gym and working out and like doing this like intense, you know, hit workout or, um, class, you know, group class or whatever, um, doesn't burn as many calories as you might think. And people start to, you know, and then they have that like, oh, I worked out today. I can go eat, you know, whatever disgusting thing they're going to eat. <laughs> um, and then they've probably eaten more calories than they just burned off at the gym because they think they burned like 5,000 calories in that one hour Zumba class or whatever, when it was more like a couple hundred. And then they went out and had like 500, you know, a thousand calorie meal, 800 calorie meal. Um, and just totally, I mean, literally negated at plus what they just did so it, it's but whereas if you take a little bit of time out of each day multiple times out of each day to get to move um it's much better and more sustainable than 
trying to do it all at once. Um, and you'd be surprised how many more calories you'd be burning doing housework and yard work and stuff than you would be going to the gym and lifting or doing, you know, some kind of cardio, like straight cardio or whatever. Um, so that's kind of what I want to stress is just that it's about being a little bit active most of the time, as opposed to really active a little bit of the time. See what I'm saying? So I hope that um, that helps you kind of rethink what, um, you know, how you approach fitness. It's not just about, you know, getting to the gym every day. Uh, it, you know, I'm in my gym and I lift two to three days a week. And, but otherwise I do all kinds of other things. And I'm, I'm lucky in that I have a job that um, I can, I am active in it. Um, a lot of people aren't that lucky. You just kind of have to, you kind of have to plan it and make your, you know, make a little bit of an effort to get up away from your desk more than just going to lunch or to the bathroom or whatever. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, just kind of, I think people need to kind of switch how they think about fitness and what it means to be fit as opposed, you know, and um, I think that that will help people to be a little bit more, help people to see it as a little bit more sustainable than um, it otherwise is if you are, you know, if you aren't active at all and then decide to be really active for a little bit of time during the day and it just, it doesn't work that way and it's not sustainable to try to change everything all at once. You also have to do it in increments. So I hope that helps. I hope it kind of, you know, changes a little bit of the thought process. And um, if you want any more info, I you can find me on Facebook, you can find me on Instagram. Um, and please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday. I am off to go lift some weights. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.